Hey guys, Aaron here for the love of tech and welcome back to the channel. Samsung delivered their unpacked event yesterday and boy, did they have some things to unpack for us. Without further ado, let me introduce to you the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. Just kidding, we already knew everything about this device. Thank you to Evan Blass and Twitter and he leaked what looked like amazing press images some lady could be a man we don't know with the longest fingers we have ever seen let's go ahead and dive right into a comparison between the samsung s20 ultra the note 20 ultra and then the note 20 itself one thing people are all ah! so the note 20 is said to have a plastic case the Note 20 Ultra uh, is glass on glass with this super amazing Uber Gorilla Glass 6. Best thing ever on a smartphone. They always say that. They always break. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the actual differences between these devices. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to call it the S20, the Note 20 Ultra, and then the Note 20. So that way you know what we're talking about here. Couple big differences from the very beginning. The S20 Ultra. 5,000 milliamp battery. The Note 20 Ultra, 4,500 milliamp battery. The Note 20, 4,300 milliamp battery. So it's just like, what the heck is going on here? The S20 Ultra has got the 5,000 milliamp, doesn't make any sense, but I'm hoping that software optimization, a little bit more of an enhancement as far as screen power management is going to make up for that 5,000 milliamp difference. And my Note 20 Ultra is still going to have the same day and a half battery that my S20 Ultra does now. So the S20 Ultra battery is phenomenal. Coming in a couple different storage options, looking at the S20 Ultra, it gave me the 128 and the 512. And looking at the Note 20 Ultra and the Note 20, the Note 20 only comes in a 128 option and it does not have removable storage. So that's like pretty solid baseline model. This is what you get and you don't even get to upgrade it yourself. But the Note 20 Ultra gives me 128 and a 512 option, right? And it also gives me an option for removable storage, which I have a 512 removable storage micro SD card. So that works out great for me. Looking at the processor, we've got the 865 and now we've upgraded to the 865 plus for both of the notes. So on the S20 Ultra, you have the option of a 12 and 16 gigs of RAM option. On the Note, you've got a 8 gig and then the Note 20 Ultra, you're gonna get a 12 gig option and that's about it. I can't imagine that uh, there's much of a difference between the 12 or the 16, but it is what it is and the price definitely reflects it. Everything's coming in 5G these days. I don't have 5G in my world, so I don't really care about it. So this camera, it looks amazing. I think this camera hump. <laughs> My hump, my hump. Looks better than the hump on the S20 Ultra. The Note 20 is going to give us a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel wide angle, and then a 64 megapixel telephoto. Now, when we jump over to the Note 20 Ultra 5G, the telephoto is now replaced with a 12 megapixel telephoto, whereas on the Note, it is a 64. So. A little bit difference there, but they're also now giving us a wide angle 108, which is good. The 108 megapixel camera is phenomenal. As long as nothing is moving and you've got a good focus, it's phenomenal. So now we're going to go ahead and also highlight that the Note 20 Ultra comes with this laser auto focus. Now, if you remember, the S20 was littered with autofocus issues. This is what I believe their solution is to it. Hopefully that alleviates it. I'm going to be really excited to compare the two and see how they actually perform. This is a pretty cool feature. So you have your 8K video. But the other cool thing about 8K is I, I think it's useless. I think the aspect ratio, the frame,
frame everything. It is good for nothing, especially if you're a creator. It's good for nothing. It heats up your phone. It takes up a lot of storage. The files are huge to manage. It does, it's nothing's good, nothing good. But this little feature I can get down with. Every 8K frame is essentially a 33 megapixel photo which is pretty amazing. That's one of the things that I really think Samsung did is they now brought us something that is usable for the 8K camera that they're charging us for. So I definitely appreciate that. We're not gonna talk about apertures because nobody cares. If you're really into apertures, you need to go get a camera and not a smartphone. That's kind of how I feel about it. We are gonna talk about the display. So the S20 Ultra, 6.9 so our screen size is not changing i am hoping that the width of the actual device is changing and it's a little bit lighter i do think that the battery being 500 milliamps less is going to contribute to the phone being lighter the s20 ultra is just a heavy heavy device it feels like you're holding something of serious substance and of course this would not be a proper note video if we did not take a moment and talk about the lovely s pen so the s pen has got all sorts of stuff what they actually did is they took what they call the latency between the time when you take the stylus and you put it to the screen and it actually registers and puts something on the screen. It was at like 50 to 59 milliseconds of latency and now they've got it down to nine milliseconds. So it means it still moves really, really quick and fluid and I can't wait to hold it in my hand to actually tell you guys what that improvement feels like because as of right now, I don't know. I just know what they're telling me. So wanted to take a moment and just say thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you've already been a subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. Really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment down at the bottom. I love talking with members of my community. I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys about the Galaxy Buds Live, or the beans as they were uh, so joyfully named earlier this year. The Mystic Bronze, it's just a beautiful, phenomenal color. They also come in Mystic Black and Mystic White. I think the Mystic White is really nice. I think it's a really, really nice white, kind of a glossy, shiny, but I'm still in favor of the Mystic Bronze and you know, black everything is always a no brainer. If you don't know what color to get, always go for black. You'll thank me later. Trust me, pro tip. These things look, they look phenomenal. They've got all sorts of technology built into them and they're only for 169 bucks, which is phenomenal. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the case. So they have this cute little Asian lady on the stage and she had the case and she wanted to show us that the case was not huge, that it fit in her nice hand and it could go into her pocket and it was not an inconvenience. Now, I don't know if that's true, but they sold me on it. The visuals worked. Not all ears are created equal. And I tell you this time after time after time. I have the ears that don't want to fit AirPod Pros. These are guys that just launched the OnePlus Buds. I've never even been able to actually use them for a long period of time without them falling out. So it's hard for me to give a proper review on a device that physically doesn't work with the anatomy of my head. So the one thing I can tell you is Samsung Buds have always fit my ears. They do not fall out like the other ones do. They still slip a little bit, but I think that's part of the deal you know there is a little bit of slippage that you can't avoid but for the most part they fit great so i'm very eager to see how these guys are going to fit inside my ears so moving right along these have built-in active noise cancellation which is new before they didn't have active noise cancellation. The Galaxy Buds, Galaxy Buds Plus, what they had was is you're putting plugs in your ears. So when you put plugs in your ears, naturally, organically is going to drown out the sound. So what they did, we don't have active noise cancellation, which is the gimmick that everyone's pushing. But what we do have is ambient sound enhancement, which actually is really useful. 
I would go on my bike rides and I would turn it on medium and I could hear all the footsteps and doors opening and cars approaching me and it would make me feel a little bit more secure, a little bit more confident. So now they're bringing us active noise cancellation and I'm eager to see if it still has active noise cancellation and ambient sound enhancement and how those are going to marry each other or work together or I guess if you're married, you might work against each other, depending on your marriage, just saying. One thing that I find is very annoying, you can't get Google Assistant on these things, you gotta go through Bixby, which if you haven't used or tried Bixby anytime recently, you're missing out because Bixby has really stepped up his game. He is uh, a little bit more responsive, got a little bit more personality there. So Bixby, you can they've been working on Bixby and you can tell, still not quite a Google Assistant. I wish they would abandon Bixby and just go full on Google Assistant. I actually think I read an article a little while ago. Google is trying to pay Samsung to abandon Bixby and just use the Google Assistant. So that would be pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right over to the new Galaxy Watch 3. One cool thing that you can do with this thing is you can actually trade in your old Galaxy Watch and get a hundred bucks. My Galaxy Active 2 under under Armour Edition will actually get me 150 bucks on the trade-in, which is pretty good, but I will probably still keep this watch. But you can just look at this right here. It looks amazing. I mean, this watch looks phenomenal. They're sending it in the box with a leather band, which is probably one of the reasons why this thing is so dang expensive. They still maintain the rotating bezel, which I love. Something to think about, I'm gonna actually go for the smaller watch because I wanna stick to the color that I like more than anything. It has trip detection, so that way that will help you. It has sleep, tracking, home workout stuff. Uh, one thing that they're not pushing on the website that was in the keynote is that it also tracks your blood pressure. What? Yeah, you heard me right. It actually has a way of sensing your blood pressure. So I'm really eager to try that out and to see how it works. I will typically go through my life, go through my day. And if um, I eat something or I get too upset or my anxiety is too high, my blood pressure goes up, I can uh, take half of a blood pressure pill and it lowers it and it relieves it and it helps. Little pro tip. I'm not a doctor. I'm telling you what works for me, not what works for you. But now being able to actually monitor and and measure my blood pressure in real time wherever I am is a big giant win for me, a giant win. So guys, if we are looking at just the Note 20, we're looking at a starting price of 999 bucks. There are no other upgrades, no other places to go. You only, only get $999 128 gig, eight gigs of RAM option. If you want more, you go up to the Note 20 Ultra and you get the 12 gigs of RAM, you have the 128 option and you also have the 512 option. The 512 is going to cost you $1,449.99. Whoa! I myself am going for the 128 gig. Do I need 512? I mean, it's, 128 to 512, big jump. Where's my 256? That's my question. But I'm at 128 with my 512 expandable storage, so I'm okay with that. So my model is 1299.99, and I of course always do the unlocked with the Mystic Bronze, and I am trading in. So it's giving me 650 with my trade-in. So my Note 20 Ultra is gonna cost me 649 bucks with returning my S20 Ultra to them. So you also get $150 instant credit when you do buy this. What I actually did is I came over uh, here and I think I did uh, the Galaxy Watch 3 and the LTE Buds Live and I just did that. So altogether I saved 62 bucks 
right with the little discount put together and 150 dollar credit so i got both of those when all was said and done and i went to buy this thing i had to pay uh, 1069 dollars and 96 cents my total savings 969 dollars and 90 cents which is pretty good and i get a couple little extras there thrown in there some uh, spotify which i already have youtube premium so that's it guys uh sorry long video big even longer keynote so hopefully this cut through all the rigmarole this is specifically laser focused on the note 20 note 20 ultra as it's compared to the s20 ultra and the galaxy live buds and the galaxy watch 3. more to come later as the galaxy fold z and flip z two are both released every single person that has ever used the galaxy fold has all said this is the best phone by far they have ever used function productivity everything so i'm super excited about it guys if you made it this far to the video like comment subscribe show me some algorithmic love thanks for watching until next time for the love of tech namaste